I'm Katie. I'm Arian. And I'm Xerxes. And our group's project is... Modular, Modular Arithmetic. But let's just say I'm Alice, a citizen with an account at the bank. And I'm Caleb, the banker. Now, I need to get a million billion dollars to Caleb the banker without letting Bob the hacker steal her million billion dollars. So, now that I have to think of a way to get my million billion dollars to Caleb the banker without letting Bob, Bob the hacker get to it. Wait, maybe we should use a code so that Bob can't get my money. Good idea. We can use a prime number code, which is not too difficult to encrypt, which means put the information into a code using prime numbers, which makes it hard to decrypt or solve. I know what a prime number is. It is a number that's only divisible by one and itself. Ah. But there is more than just prime numbers. You can also you also need to use modular arithmetic. Ah, I remember what modular arithmetic is. It it's where you uh you do So, this is an example, 8 mod 4. So, this number is the number of stick things that you see here in a circle, sort of like a clock. Then this number is the, is the, number, uh, is the number of times you go around on the stick, on the stick things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Eight. Now, you want to ca count um, not by the spaces in between, but by these actual stick things. Now, normally, you'll get this number right here, this first number, by multiplying a one prime number by another prime number. So, for instance, we're just going to go with some pretty small prime numbers. Um, there's like, let's say 7, and how about 11? So that's 7, so you times them to get 77. Now, so then you pick, so after you have your number, which right now we're going to use 77, so 77 uh, mod, and then mod you pick any number but how you when you select these you call them P and Q and when you times them normally when you're doing the actual prime number code uh, they're they're a lot bigger um, P and Q and you get the uh, which are the two prime numbers which Caleb the banker has um, and, uh, and this is called N, which is the public key, which Kayla the banker has and, Al and Alice has. Now, she uses this, she puts this into mo 77 mod, um, pretty much any number. Let's go with four. And... Then she uses four to encrypt the code, which makes it uh, harder for hackers to get into it. The reason it does this is because computers are really good at timesing these numbers. They can do it. They can make it really big, really fast. But they have a harder time getting from N down to P and Q.